What do you make of it all, Gabby? Well, I think, if I'm being brutally honest, I feel that the, the chairman of Forest Green is an attention-seeking moron. Um, wow. I feel that he loved the limelight. It was obviously a PR stunt. He had no... Um, he was never going to give her the job mm-hmm. when the season started. It was just a PR stunt, give her a couple of weeks, sort of an overnight job, and then bring in someone that he was probably looking for from the start. And I didn't like it because I wanted her to get at least 10 games, give her a good go of it. Not sort of like, okay, you're going to be interim manager, but then, all right, I mean, season's going to start. Let me ch- let me change that. So I think that just sums him up, to be honest. Moron's yeah. quite strong. That's what he is. All right. Well, that's your yeah. view. But in, all, in his defence, and again, I'm going to do devil's advocate yeah. here, he has always said it was interim. So that always gave you the indication she was never going to be permanent. Or well, yeah. certainly not, uh, you know... I, I never, I, me looking at it, I always thought she's never going to get the job full time. That was never the intention. Because if it was, I mean, how often you get interim managers in, a, course, in a closed season, in a closed know, summer? Yeah, I've never period. known someone get interim manager and not take charge of a competitive game. Yeah. So why give her interim manager? It's all a PR stunt. You mm-hmm. know, we, we know that. And it just sort of like ruins it because you heard her just speak there um, yeah. previously about this can be a change. Is it going to be a change now? Because she hasn't even ma- managed a competitive game. What has she done? Two pre-season friendlies? Yes. Yeah, so, 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 so it's a bit frustrating. From I bet she's frustrated as well. We spoke to her. Well, I suppose that's the annoying thing, like you say. So they had that one all-friendly draw against uh, Melksham Town. Then they've been out in Ireland and they beat UCD as part of that tour 2-0. Um, but yeah, I get what you're saying. You know, hearing from what she had to say yeah. after that draw against Melksham, you know, she was saying this could be a positive change for women in men's football. She didn't think that she'd be like, okay, no, that's fine now. We've got um, our manager. She must have thought in her mind, I'm going to get the start of the season. Do you think? 100%. Um, maybe, the way she's maybe, speaking. Maybe you're right. The way, the way she, she spoke speaking. there in them interviews, it's just a bit like, listen, you can tell what everyone thinks as well I mean flicking through social media yesterday everyone 99% of the people say the same thing PR stunt that's all it was mm. I do think it's a shame I do I agree with you exactly that I, I think when you go into that big announcement and, and it, did, it did make headlines everywhere because it was a huge story of course it was and it was a big move by an yeah. EFL club to do that uh, I do agree with you I, I think it's a shame that she wasn't perhaps given more chance but equally I think as soon as she was named interim I didn't feel as though she would be given a chance going forward anyway. Um, Because actually, like we say, in the summer, this is your chance to make a... This is your chance to give her the job, like you say, because you don't often get interim caretaker managers in the summer period. But whenever I've had one at Aston Villa, it's been... They get games. Mm. You know, they they get a chance to show and and what they can do. And then they might be like, okay, interim manager, you get the job because you've done well. You know, you showed in the, in the competitive games you've you've competed and you've done well. If you don't, we're going to swap it and bring in a more experienced manager or whatever. Or you're just in it for a few games because we, we're trying to get our manager's contract sorted. Mm. But don't give her like two preseason games and, and then you know she, she she loses her job as um, interim manager. I just feel that is a PR stunt, and you know that's him. Well, a lot of people are agreeing with you. I can yeah. see the text messages coming on flying. I know. <laughs> wow, Cappy, you've really got people on your side. But um, a lot of people saying, you know, Dale Vince is a disgrace and a hypocrite, really, for, for what he's done. And never, someone here, I've never agreed more with anyone on TalkSport than with what Gabby has what he had wants. to say. This is what he wants, the attention, attention seeker. That's what he wants. Is there... Is there a possibility, and again, playing devil's advocate, is there a possibility that within the short spell that she has had as interim, that they could have worked out within that period that it just wasn't quite the right fit? If it was any other owner, I'd say yes. But you I don't think, know. You don't no, know. No, but Delvin's. I just feel like, like I'm not going to talk about other things that he does, but you can just tell it's not the first time you've seen him in the, you know, the limelight, is it? So any other owner, I'd be like, maybe it's not worked in a couple of weeks, but with him. It's obvious that it was just a PR stunt, and in his mind, when he when he gave her the job, he probably already knew who he was bringing in. You know, I mean, we should say she was obviously very qualified for this yep. job. She's the academy manager at Forest Green, which presumably she'll be going back to in that role. So, in that sense, because of Duncan Ferguson leaving during the summer, they needed someone to take over for yeah. pre-season. So, 
it made sense that, necess- that, that they would turn to her, for example. But I do understand what you're saying, and it does sort of make... I don't really get angry much, but, like, I'm angry talking about it. It does give you a it. bit of taste in the mouth. Do you know what I mean? I don't really get angry, like, working on the, on the radio, but this has got me angry. Mm. Seeing it last night, I'm like, come on. Like, you know, when, when, when you first give her the job, you said she's the right person for the job. You know, it doesn't yeah. matter of um, male or female, the best person for the job. But his, you, you, his excuse will be it's interim. No, of course. That's but, what, but, so that's what but, his but, reason but, will be. You know, everyone's, you know, you've got some clever people out there that, okay. are, that are sending in messages. They know exactly why he's done it. And he got the publicity that he wanted. Mm-hmm. And then maybe now, even Forest Green fans will be like, you know what, this isn't right. You know, maybe they will be upset. It'd be interesting to get um, a Forest Green caller on, see what yeah. they think of it. Well, it'd be interesting for anyone who wants to get involved yeah. in this conversation. 03717 is the number to call us on. You can text us as well to 81089. What do you think? Are Forest Green missing out on an opportunity here or has it all been about a, a mislead from those at uh, Forest Green? Do get in touch. We'd love to hear from you this Tuesday morning here on TalkSport Breakfast. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.